Hello everyone, my name is K.M. Wyland, and today I'm going to give you just a quick little tutorial about my Outlining Your Novel Workbook Computer Program, which is based on my books of the same name. And today I just want to show you really quickly how you can use the program to export and import projects, back up your projects for safekeeping, and also how to export your scene lists for use in Scrivener and Microsoft Word and other word processors. So first thing I want to do is show you how to export your program, which is the same thing as backing it up. In either instance, if you're wanting to either export the program to, say, share with someone else who has the program, you're wanting to share your notes for whatever reason, or you're wanting to back it up. Let's say you're wanting to do an update on the program. When that becomes available, you're switching your computer. For whatever reason, if you're wanting to back it up for just kind of that extra measure of safety in saving it, this is how you do that. So first thing you're going to do is go to the main control button, which is the logo up here in the corner, and click on that, and you're going to get um, some various options. So the export button is right here. This is how we export the, pro pro uh, the project. This is how we back it up. If you click this, you're going to get asked the question, do you want to export just this project, which is the demo project, or all the projects? So if we say all, it's going to do, we have two projects in this right now, my book Wayfair and the demo project. So if we say all, it's going to do both of them. Um, but if we want to just do one, then all we have to do is punch the little button one. And then it's going to have us select where we want to put this. So I'm going to put this on my desktop in a new folder. And then it's going to take just a little bit while it is exporting all of the files um, to that folder on the desktop. And just as a reminder, there is no save button in this program. It automatically saves all of your work. So the backup is something that you can manually do to kind of as a backup to kind of save your work in case you're you know you, I mean we all get twitchy about losing our work so the backup the export process is great for that so now if we go to the desktop we find that it has exported all of our scenes in the FMP12 format which belongs to the um, this pr uh, program so I'm going to rename it just so we know what it is demo project and then if we go back to the program, I'll show you how to import it. Um, so to import a project, you do not want to import projects that have the same name. At this point, obviously, we already have the demo project saved within the program. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and delete the demo project. And then click on the control button and click on the import button. And then go to um, my desktop and find that project and click OK. And then again, it'll take just a, a few seconds and the projects are important, imported, imported. And here we have um, our complete imported project all over again. OK, so the other cool thing that I want to show you is how to export your scene list to Scrivener. The scene list is the only part of the project that you're going to be able to export to Scrivener. This is where you will have created the various things that you want to have happen in your story. This may be very complete, it may be just a few sentences, whatever you need so that if you're using Scrivener or Word or whatever, that you can then take these, export them as text documents and take them over to these other programs for easy reference once you've finished the outline and are ready to actually start your first draft. So to do that, first you have to go to your scene list, which you find under the general tab. Let me click on scene list and that's where we are here. And you can see all of these um, demo scenes basically. These are within the demo project you'll find lots of instructions and ideas about how to use the program. So they're not actually scenes that you're seeing here, but we're going to export them as if they were so you can see how this works. So we're going to click um, over here in the corner where it says export scenes and this square with an arrow in it is the button we want. So we click that 
and again we're going to choose where we want to put it I want to put it on the desktop in a new folder so that everything's combined otherwise you'll get all of the various um, scenes within their own little file scattered all over your desktop so put it in your new folder hit OK the scene list is now exported so if we go to the desktop and we find our new folder what we find is all of these text docs and if you happen to have within the program created folders that had sub scenes in them then you're also going to see that he indicated here so that's all continues over and your organization will be obvious once you've exported the scene list now to get these into Scrivener couldn't be easier all you have to do is copy the ones you want and sorry and drag them to Scrivener and put them over here within this section here the binder and put them where you want I want to put them under this outline folder and then I'm going to go control um, right arrow and that's going to indent them so they're all within that folder and then you'll see you'll get the uh, title and you'll also get the text over here so that you can go actually go ahead and edit that in any way that you want so just really quick that's how you export import back up your projects and export your scene list to Scrivener or to any other word processor that you want to use.